so welcome. Welcome to Cycling and Cape Nottingham, as the channel is now called. I'm on the canal, I'm heading up to meet up with Ian to do a tour. It'll probably be the last tour for quite a long time. Yeah, it'll be the last tour for a long time. I've run out of days I can have off work. And I've got no choice but to go to work. I'm a normal person, got bills to pay. And I'll probably put this video out later in the year. It's going to be a few days of a tour, nothing too long. So I'll bring you back when I've met up with Ian. He may get to the meeting location before me, because I've got a bit, be, bit delayed. Right, we're up. Beast and Marina. Yeah, it's been nice weather, but the sky is going grey. Yeah. Mm. So we'll carry on, probably have some more food soon because I haven't ate it for a while. Right, we're just gone through Cutgrave Country Park and you've seen us here plenty of times if you watch all the videos and if you don't you should in fact I don't mind because I've not done much cycling for a long time I'm a bit tired so don't mind stopping for a while It's warm, I think it's warm. Yeah, it is warm. The water's so low still, isn't it? Yeah. There's probably not, I mean, there's probably not much being fed into it. Yeah. Well, we're on the Grantham Canal. And the weather app didn't say it was going to rain last time I looked, but you can see what the sky looks like. Looks a bit ominous to me. We should be able to cope if it rains. Got rain going a poncho and stuff, but... Anyway, we're going to carry on our normal route and we'll prob probably bring you back under the bridge. Well, we haven't gone <clears throat> much further than last time I spoke to you. I haven't uh, got my umbrella, but I have got a poncho if I get desperate. It did say on the weather app, like there wasn't going to be any rain, but it actually started raining. So we're taking it. Some boys well, I brought this... Uh, we're going to have a game of tennis, I've got this visor like a while back because I think it was on when we came back from the water railway trip. I just thought of like I want something to cover my face because you get a water running down into your eyes. I thought I need something to sort of cover my face up and this actually works. Well, nine, eight, yeah, and nineteen. Yeah, but the best music, <laughs> the best music from that one. Yeah. I don't know how bad the rain is. Can it's... you recreate that photo tonight? Oh, I'm just going to leave. Hmm. Oh, I think I remember 
someone as a a print of that at fucking school. I think they were, I don't know why. Because I've seen it before. Anyway. What time is it? Nearly three o'clock and do you definitely want to try a shop in Bingham? Well, it's a password. Oh, well, we I've got will, to get some food. There's an Audi, or we could... Yeah, well, we've, we've passed several shops in there in that garage. I've got to pick up some food, I've got nothing. Yeah. I tried to keep it light because of the train journey this morning. Oh, well, uh, well, we'll just come back and see what happens. But, we're carrying on. So we're on the countryside. We're not that far from Newark. There's a sister inside. We're just looking at this hedge what someone's been working on. Just saying we should go in that weird tent down there. There are some houses down there, so it's kind of been light. There's been some light rain on and off for a while. Oh, I'm kind of tired. Well, probably normally, I normally sleep in the day, so. I can see the wind turbine over there, what's along the side of the railway trail. Oh well. Oh. I'll come back soon. <sighs> right, we're still on our way, and you you probably remember me showing you this gate on a previous video. We're just remembering what we stopped on it on a the water railway tour. Fortunately, there was no, there wasn't much video for that one. But it does look interesting down there. I want to see what's down there. I mean, I wonder what is around that corner. I know you probably shouldn't, but I wonder if I can get through the road. You can fucking get through there. Trying to watch my bike is. It could be a trail camera. So well, I'll cover myself up just in case. I probably shouldn't be in it, but there wasn't any no trespassing signs. When Ben eventually when Ian watches a video. You can see what's here. It goes round a long way. What the hell does it go? It go oh my god, there's some kind of a building there. But what is it? Do I dare go close to it? There's a gate. There could be cameras there. Eh? Some cameras can like like radio people it could be a pumping house because there's like a river eh? there's a farm back there hydrometric measurement station yeah sky looks nice you know it's cloudy oh yeah look at that Well, now we know what's here. You see, probably, I don't think there, I don't think there is any public footpaths, as that gate's locked. So you possibly could put a bivvy up in here. 
Right, I'm going back now. It's not long till we get on the railway trail. But Ian said how somebody obviously cuts this grass, so we noticed that before. So somebody comes here. Yeah. I've seen what's there now. You need to wait till you watch the video. <laughs> No, there's like a is there's, there's, there's a unicorn paddock. Rainbow, no, there's a little there's a little building. It says like hydro hydrometric measuring station. It's right next to the river. Oh, that's right. And there's a there's a you something to do with water. And there's, there's a gate with a lock on it, and there's I'm no I'm sign. Of, there's only no sign of any public footpaths so. there. Right. Front of you could live around there if you had to. Offwards, it's always look nice here. Look. Mm. Right. Film something. So we stopped on the trail. You should have seen us before. You know, one of the first times we rode down here. The video is still on my old channel. For some reason, it won't. It will no longer let me download it, which is kind of irritating because I really wanted to put it on this channel. But I'm not sure if if you can only download them so many times, and it kind of stops here. Yeah, but there is a a link to it in one of the playlists, probably the one that says bicycle touring. Now let's have a look at the bikes. So I've got this new art, the bag. The pedal says on. I've got the cheap decathlon bags. It's been raining, so I've got the waterproof covers on. That's a relatively cheap bag. It's packed full. Food bag. Ian's got one of his bikes. He... You... I, Actually, I'm not sure if you used this bike on that first time we ride up here. Most yeah, I've got photos of it. I can get the. I've probably got the photos on fucking Google Drives there. I changed it to flat bar. Like it used to be drop bar. Though. I think I prefer that now. So. There's a wind in your bottle. Making a noise. Yeah, we should do a. I know it's. We could do like a spooky walk in some woods. Maybe. That's beautiful. Isn't that Mr. Magoo? Is that Miss, Mr. Magoo? That's Mr. Magoo as the Karate Kid. Write something in the comments. Mr. Magoo as the Karate Kid. I could flash a photo of the uh, graffiti the first time we rode down here. I'm going to look on Google Drive and see if, as I'm sure the original photos are on there. Well, we're still on 64. I just took a photo of this sunset. We're out here to enjoy ourselves, but... So... That, that's, you know, the beauty of nature. Because I normally sleep in the day, it's... Nice to see the sun. I'm not sure if this graffiti is different. That one might be near. What earth's in there? Like, that's always a rubbish in it. I remember on one of, I think it was a second Fortin's Alt Camp, we did a day ride up here and we did like our cooking on this stone. Anyway, I'll bring you back further up at one of the other bridges. 
I really have a film up there because it can be a lot of people and chavs about but well we really need to get kind of going because we we'll like to get into the woods like Ian's on the phone I had this stuff and show you this view a load of geese flying over that's why we like getting out here a lot of clouds yeah we're probably going to it's probably going to be getting dark when we get to the woods Well, we're in Newark. stations over there see the railway line down there and the trail the trail we came off yeah, Ian's had to phone someone so it'll pretty much be dark when we get to the woods we've got to do this big climb which isn't too bad so I'll just bring you back in a bit. It might end up being at the woods. Well, we're heading down to the woods because we had to stop a just a f things I won't mention. I said there's no street lights down here. I mean, if it wasn't for the bike lights on, you won't be able to see. Now it is fucking black. And that shape you can see is the front rack, the shadow. There could be the usual oddballs down in the car park. So we're going to have to not draw attention to ourselves. Time to get up soon. Right, I'm up now and I think I'm going to go for a walk. We'll go back here 
and find the other camps but and last night the GoPro battery like I think it was probably too cold again so the GoPro went off And because we got here in the dark, it was a bit of a struggle finding the right spot. Some kind of an animal in there, I heard it. This is my other spot and It would have been good to have used this, but it was awkward getting back here. And we, we almost got kind of a bit lost. Morning. Morning, I didn't sleep a great deal, but I was off, I was pulled up my top and I got fed up for doing it. <laughs> so, well, I don't normally sleep at night. Uh, is it because is, is you, uh, you're used to sleeping in the day like any nights? Yeah, probably. It's it was quiet sleep. though, I didn't hear nothing. No. I must have probably slept a bit, but I didn't hear anything. I mean, no, it's a lovely still morning, isn't it? I yeah. Think it's meant to get windy tonight. So you're going to have a, a different night tonight. Yes, if you mean not being woods, you know. My Audi body warmer didn't pray. Hey? I didn't get cold. I, I was bloody. I was quite hot for some time. Mm. I thought I, I. I flipping just had a zip. Open, open a bit for after a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get the kettle on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a coffee. Yeah, I'm not gonna rush to pack pack it away. No, we know this place is so safe, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah, I just had to walk back to my other spot, and it's like. Is that grown up? No, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, I guess I can't believe how much this has grown up. Cause I, I usually sleep behind that tree, don't I? And it's completely grown out there. And yeah, it's a bit different. Mm. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to yeah. sort a few things out, but I'm not going to rush to pack up. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get my water and, well, get my kettle boiling. Well, we're making coffees. He's got his, and I'm sure some idiot will say it's sponsored, but instead of bringing cans of energy drink, I discovered Sneak Energy Soli sachets there. And this is one of my favourite, the Strawberry Millions. <clears throat> well, I've got the GoPro charged up. Hopefully, it's not going to fail again. Because today is where the real adventure starts. We're at the nature reserve near Collingham and it won't be too long till we go into the shop to get lots of snacks. Yeah, the vegan cycling snacks. Important because they save the planet and apparently. Well, we're coming away from the village. I sometimes can't remember what I even filmed. We were at the shop. As the nice people talked to us. 
Right over there, you probably can't see it, but the power, one of the power stations, in fact, there's two power stations out there. I think they're both now decommissioned. We're aiming to camp out there somewhere. I mean, you can see hills over there, but out that way it's pretty flat. So we're just going through Harby and we're going this way again but then we'll be taking a brand new route eventually see what happens right so if you know 64 into Lincoln which is up there normally goes that way we'll come down a different way it says Fosdyke Canal Trail and we're going up here which is new to both of us and we think there's a little town up there which I think is called Swine Fort we're probably going to stop at a cafe if it's open there's... I think some kind of a any type of burger would do me anything as usual just sort of drink that. This is um, everyone's favourite lemon, lemon and lime whiskey. <laughs> Nuts, it's all they had in the shop. <laughs> they sell it if I can shake it. My bikes. Like <laughs> I've got alcoholic Pepsi. And if anyone's moaning about us drinking, it's each to their own. Mm. I mean, it's a really nice day now, but apparently it's probably going to rain later. Overnight, so you've got to get the tarp up. Yeah. So we're not sure where we're going to end up. It might not be that much longer than a day. Oh, well, I stopped and this is impressive looking kind of boat resort here. Burton Waters Marina. And it says on that lift, that crane thing. Well, we're on Torxie Viaduct. It was a bit of a nightmare coming up some st across a gate, which we kind of expected, but it was a pain in the ass. There might be one on the other side. You know, I think that's a... That's a which one's that? I can't remember. That one's Cotton. You know, it might have been... I think that one you can see further away is like a modern one of these fucking gas things. Power Station Alley. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, we got our bikes down the stairs and everybody's gate. It was a... You need two of you, it's... You really do. So if anyone wants to try and copy where we're going, you know, I'd come with someone else. So we're going up this way. Right, so I can't remember what I was saying last. What, you want that? 
What do you want? I've had the hood, hood on the punch here filled with water before. Yeah, well, we're in a wood. So we're stealth camping. There's a possibility of rain, so we're just getting taps and stuff up. Some would say it's a bit early, but I think we're extremely header. And that's the best way to have it. Well, now I've got the snug back stratus here, nice under the top. So it'll be nice if it rains. We'll have a look at Ian's setup. Right, it's fairly early in the morning. We just left with the nature reserve. We're not recommending you camp in there. And if you do, oh god! Well, we're on the Chesterfield Canal. It's really nice. As Ian's only been along here once, and I've not been here before. We've been to a nice shop in Retford and got supplies. We can take a slow ride down here and see if it's interesting. Yeah, I might polish my bottle of wine off. So I'll bring it back if it's worth looking at. Yeah, we're still on the Chesterfield Canal. We will be for some time. It, it, I've, well, I've never been there before. It is. It's so scenic. It's one um, of the nicest canals, isn't it? This? Yeah, we've got quite a way to go. Definitely worth including on a tour. We're at a lock with boaters facilities on the Chesterfield Canal. It's a nice looking house. Some boats and some Park cars, etc. Very likely one of these stealth van campers, which are normally blatantly obvious. I was seeing that with these van campers, you think they've been stealth, stealthy. Yeah. It literally is blatantly obvious what they're doing, so it's not really stealthy, is it? Microphone's probably a bit funny at the 
down when you finish. Yeah. Well, this is flipping amazing out here. If you can hear me, it's really good. That feels kind of wrong. Well, the canal is, you know, lovely. The wind is really getting up, and we've been riding on crappy grass for a while. It's quite tiring, and it may, if it rains, we've got, you know, rain coats and stuff. It's tough going, so. Remember that if you want to ride along here. Yeah. Right, so it's been a while since I filmed the Chesterfield Canal were rough for a long time. It was bloody hard work but it was lovely. We're now on the north side of Clumber Park. And there's a lot of woods there, but we're going eventually to Sherwood Forest. The bridge in Clumber Park. Right, so it is the next day, so we're just near the dog and duck over there, I think that's what it's called. I can't remember what the last thing I filmed was, but me and Ian were getting pretty tired. We found a new place to camp, and but there was, there was a lot of people around that area. I think because Route 6 is blocked off for work, so we we're kind of like yeah keeping quiet for a while and we kind of went to bed early and there was nothing nothing really happened all night and the, i tried to film earlier but the gopro were kind of you know it's like happened before it stopped working because of the cold there's an abandoned railway line up there I really like to go up there, but in fact, I could see a way where I could. There's a a sick. There's a signal up there. 